Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will focus on the option of creating scriptable widgets, which come in handy for getting a quick overview or the simple analysis. This tutorial is based on the previous tutorial, let's make a molecule archive and let's calculate the variance. I would recommend you to follow along these tutorials or if you want to start right away, get a copy of the archive on the GitHub repository. We will highlight the option of creating a category chart, histogram, XY chart or bubble chart. For this I will present 4 examples to you. The beaker widget will not be discussed in this tutorial. The beaker is a bit more complex and gives you the freedom to create your own type of plot. Also, if you want to do a more in-depth analysis, you can import data to Python. For that, please check out the tutorial about Python and Molecule Archives. Before we can start, we have to open the archive. First, we talk about the category chart. As an example, we will plot the mean variance versus the tag. We are dealing with two categories, one with the active tag and the other without any tags. We will calculate the mean for each tag and then compare both of them. First, we click on the category chart symbol and the category chart will appear. Now, we will modify the script inside. We can simply copy the script from the website and paste it in the scripting tab. With this simple tool of plotting and comparing, we can confirm our hypothesis. The variance for the active molecules is bigger. Next, we will try out the histogram. This one is good to get a feel for the spread of the distribution of the variance, for example. We click on the histogram symbol, we copy and paste the code. We can easily modify attributes like number of bins or the range. Seems like a lot of the points fall in the lower range. So we can explore the lower range by setting it between 0 and 15. We now have a look at the XY chart. The XY chart helps you to compare the traces of the active molecules. We can first simply copy and paste and then look at the code in more detail. The code will plot all the active molecules. You end up with a direct comparison of the 10 traces which were tagged as active. The bubble chart visualizes relationships between two values. In this case, we have a look if longer tracks have a higher variance. On the x-axis, we plot the length of the track and on the y-axis, the variance. Once again, we just replace the code by copy and pasting. Feel free to modify lines of the code to see what it does to the plot.
you can hover over the dots to see the UIDs of the molecules. This is also great to spot outliers. In this tutorial, we learned the basics of working with widgets. You can now modify the code and see what it does to the plots. Don't forget to save your progress. The widgets will be saved and can be accessed in the widget section. Check out our website for more in-depth information or detailed explanations. Thank you for watching.